people tend to move to DC because it's an exciting place. And they, people who are interested in policy work or who are interested in social justice work tend to come here because they're drawn in by national politics or even international politics. And what people seem to forget is that there's actually a, a real living, breathing city here in Washington that suffers from many of the same issues that we see played out at a national level and sometimes even at an international level. And it's very easy to, to miss that. I, I missed that the first time I lived in DC in the 90s. I was working on national and international policy and just totally forgot about the fact that I was living in a city that also needed my involvement. So we see ourselves as a way to really help people understand what's going on in the local city and then to develop the skills and the tools that they need to get involved and to make a difference. Unfortunately, I actually love to say that DC is a great place to come and try and make that change and do that work because it's a small enough city that if you, you know, show up, do some work, maybe make a little bit of noise, uh, the chances are good that change is possible. These activities, from my perspective, are deeply, deeply Jewish. Uh, we have a mandate as Jews to participate in the life of the city and to work on behalf of all its residents. There's, you know, just even off the top of my head, I can tell you the prophet Jeremiah um, is conveying in, in, his, in the book of Jeremiah, conveys a prophecy from God that tells the, the Israelite people, you should pray for the welfare and the prosperity of your city because in its peace, you will find your own peace. So we have a mandate to go out there and make sure that our city is working well and treating its, its residents well. And we see, even from way back, from the Bible, through the Talmud, and on through our sacred writings, that we are considered to have an obligation to those around us who are in community, whether that means um, helping to provide shelter, food, clothing, to all the way up to paying taxes and getting involved in direct service. Those are actually regarded not as something that's nice to do or not as something that we do when we feel like it or when we're feeling magnanimous, but actually as obligations. So I look at this as, and I look at my work both individually and with Jews United for Justice as really helping the Jewish community fulfill their obligations to the city around them and to the people around them.